more problem with the arithmetic gradient present worth factor. This one's just got a little twist to it, so let's go ahead and read the problem here. So, Volvo offers you a special deal. They'll pay the maintenance costs on your new front end loader for three years, so your maintenance costs will be zero for three years. You expect that the maintenance costs will be 1400 after the fourth year, with an increase in maintenance costs of 200 per year thereafter. You expect that this, uh, the life of this machine is 10 years. How much should you put aside now with an interest rate of 4% compound, compounded yearly to cover all those future maintenance costs? So I've drawn out the, um, the diagram here, the cash flow diagram, um, showing the situation. So we're basically looking at, um, we want to find P. Uh, the first three years here, there's no maintenance costs. So we're just looking at the maintenance costs. Then it goes to 1400 and increases by 200 each year. 200, 2000, 2200, 2400, 2600, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years. Okay, so basically we want to know what is P. And if you remember, our assumptions is that we're making for, in order to use kind of our P equals P prime plus P double prime and P slash G, this doesn't look quite right, right? It needs to be something that looks more like zero here, then it's gonna constantly increase, so on and so forth, like that, right? And that's not what we have here. We kind of have this blank space here. So how can we fix this? Well, um, let's go ahead and write down our givens here to stay organized. So we've got an A of 1400. Right? So constantly from this point on we definitely have 400 and then be constantly increasing. So I'm going to put this is after the uh, year 4. After year 4. Okay. Uh, our G then is $200, that's how much it increases each year. Um, I is uh, 4%, and that's APR, it says compounded yearly. Make sure you keep an eye on that. N is 10 years. Okay, so how can we take this, um, looking like this, and make it look like our normal P slash G problem. Well, the best thing to do here is basically we're going to actually let me uh, use a different color here. We're going to do something here. I'm going to call this P sub 3. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to solve this problem like we're going to find it here. So we'll collect all of this back to P sub 3. And then we'll just use the value here with a uh, p slash f, um, given a future value, um, what's the present value, um, to move it back to the actual present, or p sub, we'll just call this like p sub now. Okay, so let's find p sub 3. So forget all of this, let's just solve this problem. Go to black. Um, so, let's find P in year 3, P sub 3, equals P prime plus P double prime. So we're going to solve this just like we solved the last one. Um, so here we've got an A of 1400. We're going to use uh, P slash A, 4% over how many years? Think about it for a minute. It's no longer 10. So we're not going to throw in 10, we're actually only using 7, 7 of the years, because we're cutting off 3. So that's really the only tricky part to this problem. And then plus G, 200, P slash G, 4%, again, 7 years. Okay, so doing that, we get uh, 1,400. And then P slash A, 4%, 7. So we're in the 4% chart here. 
Let's look at seven years. Go over here to P given A, uh, 6.002. And then when we're looking for the P given G, 17.066. So this one we said was 6.022 or 002. And here, P slash G, 4%, seven years, was 17.066. All right, so you just do the math there. We get $11,816. And is that our answer? No, this is P3. So just one more simple step. Don't stop here. Um, just to remind yourself, let's just say, hey, this is a year three. We want P now. We just need to move it back. So we take this 11,816. We're going to do a present value given the future value, P slash F, at 4%, three years, right? So we're just basically one simple payment. There's no, no other payments going on in this period, so we can just use this simplified here. Uh, we're looking at 4%, find P given F over three years, 0 0.8890 right here. So it's 11,816 times 0 0.8890. And we end up with $10,500. $4.40. And that's our P now for our actual present value that we need to put away in order to um, pay these maintenance costs in the future. So that's it.